Let's now talk a little bit about the best practices when it comes to variables in Terraform. So the first thing that you'll see here is that you have to add a name for that variable and you should always have a very descriptive name for the variable. Keep your variables in a separate uh, file, usually variables.tf. Next one, use descriptive names. So let's do something for a, for a region. This will be from uh, Europe, so let's say EU region. The next thing would be to always use a type for your variables. So it makes it easier for people to understand. So even though this is an optional field, it makes it really easy for people to understand what kind of type this uh, variable will receive. So in this case, this will be a string. You should always use a description because it makes it, again, very easy for other people to understand what's happening in your configuration. This is my EU region. You should always try to use default values as much as it's possible. You don't have to like overuse them. Not all, not all the variables should have a default value because you may require inputs from, from the users that are consuming your Terraform code or your Terraform modules. So for this one, let's say this is EU WIST 1. If your TFVARS files contain sensitive information, try not to push them to your VCS. I've even seen people t saying that it's not a best practice to push TFVARS in any case. I don't really agree with that. In some cases, it makes sense to push the TFRs to your VCS system, but if you are using sensitive values, don't do it. So let's also take a note here. Don't add TFRs files to your VCS system if they have sensitive values. Because we are talking about sensitive values, another good practice would be to don't hard code sensitive values. Imagine you are using a database and you have to add a password to it. The best way to go about it would be to use like the random password resource if you're using only Terraform native code. If you're using secrets managers, that would be way better, of course. Another best practice would be to use variable validations. So variables have another block called validation. And in here you have a condition and then you have like an error message. So we could say something like length of far EU region must be longer than, let's say, six characters. And the error message is, you have a typo in your region. So basically what I've done here is I'm checking the string that I receive for the EU region variable. And if it's greater than, uh, than six, it's okay. If it's not, it will say that you have a typo in your region.